Hello viewers. Welcome once more uh, to the Voice of Hope TV. My name is uh, Ken. I'm here presenting our 22nd anniversary series. Uh, this happens to be the last series, the third uh, uh, series since we, we, we started. Uh, because tomorrow, like I told you earlier, tomorrow is our D day, tomorrow is our our celebration for our 22nd anniversary. And so tomorrow we may not have time to, to come to the studio uh, to, to, to share with you more. And that's why we are using this day to uh, sum up uh, the, the, the last series on our 22nd our wedding anniversary. We married 20, uh, 22 years ago and uh, we, we, we got our first son, uh, that is Jonathan. Uh, in the year 22 or 3, 2 or 3 years, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 2 or 3. You know, uh, uh, as old ages ca catching up with me, sometimes I tend to forget even my son's birthdays. But uh, God's grace is, uh, is sufficient. <laughs> yes. And so our second born came in uh, around... Around two two o eight, yes, the second one came in around two o eight. That's Jephthah, and then our last one, who is Japhet, came in around uh, twenty fifteen. Uh, I and my wife are still going strong, and in fact, if we we agree, <laughs> we it is something to talk to 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 discuss later after this. If we agree to, <laughs> so I, I said Chaffet is our last born yeah? but uh, who knows? Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah? Anything can happen. And so I'm going to call my family in again, like what we did yesterday. They'll be coming in to share a few, uh, few thoughts here and there. For a few minutes and then uh let's see let's see what happens uh, uh at the end of the, the this series but i'm here just to encourage some couples out there like we we, 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 we i said yesterday just remember to have a lot of fun with your spouse because no one knows about tomorrow the day that you are is at hand is the day that you and I and your spouse are supposed to have a, a lot of enjoyment. Uh, for, for, for young people, just wait for God's right time, which is the best. Don't rush, like I said yesterday, don't rush to start eating fruits before the right time because any fruits that are eaten before the right time are never sweet, are full of bitterness. Uh, just wait for the right time and uh, you remember how I started this series I said that when I was in a confusion uh, having several sisters in in, in, in my life and uh, I was not able to to make up my mind which sister to go for I decided to to humble myself up and just to rely on the creator of the universe and just to to humble myself before him to pray and that's where I, I started fasting for 40 40, 40 days, yes. I was only surviving on on uh, on, 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 on drinks, on, on water. And uh, believe me, the local Almighty Father is faithful. He answers prayers. He is merciful. He is gracious. He answered my prayer. And uh, he confirmed to me that she is the one. This most beautiful woman I talked to you about yesterday. She is the most beautiful woman on the face of the earth. But it took me relying and depending on the creator of the universe for things to, to happen. So if you are a young man or a young woman out there looking forward to get a, 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 a partner to, to marry or to, to get married to, don't rush. When it fails, then it wasn't meant for you. If it's meant for you, come rain, come El Nino, nothing 
nothing and i mean nothing will stop it don't rush into young men's houses and i remember those years my wife used to visit me yes she used to visit me but there's no any time she came or visiting alone she had to make sure that she's visiting with other sisters and whenever she came she didn't just come in abruptly she, she used to notify me alia and i also used to get some brothers to come so that we, when, when, whenever we met together it was just a fellowship it was just a fellowship and i did not hide her anything when we were dating I shared with her all my poverty, all my challenges, all my shortcomings. Because I, I didn't want to give her a wrong impression. I, don't, I didn't want to give her a wrong picture to make her get surprised later when we are already in the marriage. So all the weaknesses and the shortcomings she started seeing, she, 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 she saw and she's still seeing even up to this moment, She's not shocked at all. She's not surprised at all because I shared with her earlier. I didn't want to flatter her. I didn't want to, to pretend in any, any way. Yeah. So let me start by uh, asking them to come in. They'll be sharing a few things and uh, saying something concerning our day, which is tomorrow, as we celebrate our 22nd anniversary. Uh, don't go anywhere. Just stay there as I ask my wife to come in. Uh, sweetheart. Sweetheart. It's your turn. It's your turn. Come and say something to our viewers. I sit down. <laughs> you can sit here. Sit here. Uh, uh, right here. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Let me give her an opportunity to say something. Wow. Good evening, viewers. Uh, once again, it's good to be with you. And I can't even begin to imagine 22 years have passed <laughs> since I met this wonderful man here. Yes, it's been a journey. Uh, we've gone through tough times, good times, but mostly good. And I thank God because God has been the center of it all. Uh, I would like just to encourage those who are married to always turn to God. And they'll find their, their relationships uh, going on without any big problems or major problems. Amen. You hear that? <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Welcome. So I know she's in the kitchen uh, preparing something for us. So let me let her go. Uh, she calls in our, our firstborn son. Jonathan Simiu. Let Jonathan come in. Let Jonathan come in. <laughs> I told you that she's the most beautiful woman on the face of the earth. And you've you've seen it for yourself. You know, sometimes when you say something, people may not believe you. People may not agree. Uh, so there comes Jonathan Simi. Let me step aside as a uh, uh, he sits down and say hello. Okay. Um, hi to all the viewers uh, who are in this channel, the Voice of Hope. So we are here today to to announce the celebration of our of my dad and my and my mom, their twenty second anniversary, and we are expecting something big. So we will enjoy yourself because it's something that we all wish to. To do in the future. 
Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Our son, our son already has a, a dream. Martin Luther King once said that I have a dream that one day, one time, my sons will not be known by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I can tell you this man is a man of character. He says one day, one time, he would love to have such a moment. Thank you, son. Welcome. Take care. God bless. Let Jeff Tawekesa come in. Let Chief Tawekesa come in. That's our, uh, the, 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 the young man who is coming in is our second, uh, is our second born. Uh, I told you he's a uh, student at Temumi as boys. Uh, there comes Chief Tawekesa. Chief Tawekesa, have a seat. Have a seat and just say something to, the, to our viewers. Hello, viewers. Good evening. I would like to wish my mother and father a happy wedding anniversary. That's all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The young man also understands that uh, that, <laughs> that uh, his mother and, 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 and father are celebrating 22 years. Uh, they are having a second uh, wedding anniversary. That's awesome. And like I told you earlier, that things I don't shy away doing uh, to my wife in front of these young men because they, they it's, it's just a way of teaching them that you know what some things these things are only intended for a married man and woman this, they're only intended for uh, a father and mother and they're not just intended for any any shortcuts thank you for sharing son take care god bless you Amen. and now the man who's just been standing uh, besides me is a uh, it's uh, it's our last born. It's our last born. It's uh, called the. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is uh, Chafet Wanyonyi. Chafet Wanyonyi is in grade three. Chafet, say something. Please subscribe in this channel. Subscribe, like, share. Please. Our, our, our youngest son, our last born, is kindly asking you that kindly subscribe, watch, like, and share. Thank you, son, Chafet. Let our nephew come in, just ask our brand to come in and say something also. Brian is coming in. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Yes, Brian, welcome. That's our nephew. Like I told you yesterday, he's a, he's a professional footballer. He has big dreams, I'm telling you. This young man. Say something, our nephew. Hello, viewers. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for, the, for following us to this channel. Uh, I'm happy this moment to enjoy uh, my uncle and my aunt 22nd wedding anniversary. Uh, I, I would like to urge them to continue the same spirit for the rest of their life. Uh, so far, we are happy to hear that so that because pia sisi na tunahitaji kufanya nini pia sisi tunataka kufuata mienendo yao at least pia sisi tu enjoy eh na tukishafanya hivyo tunaona life pia itakuwa fit eh asante sana thank you thank you thank you thank you nephew take care god bless you as you pursue your dreams okay, take you. care thank you thank you thank you for sharing everyone uh, see you see you later <laughs> see you later uh, Yes, that's my family. Like I told you, we just focus on doing simple things. Sharing together, laughing together, singing together, dancing together, eating together. And this creates a lot of closeness and a lot of bonding. And, uh, and let me tell you, my fellow uh, married people, for for romantic moments 
to be lively, to be awesome, to be sweet. Learn to prepare each other during the day or even several days earlier. I've been preparing my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually prepare my wife earlier so that when the right time comes, when that romantic moment comes, I'm not just surprising her. And when we, we are in the business of having romantic moments, I don't rush her in any way, I take my sweet time to make sure that she is fully ready. And I can tell you for free that when preparations are done well and correctly, romantic moments are full of sweetness. Romantic moments are delicious. And so my fellow married people out there, being a certified professional relationship advisor, I can tell you for free, learn to communicate to your spouse. Communication, communication, communication. You can't be having bitterness against one another. You are angry throughout the day, but when the night, uh, 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 the night comes, you want now to stretch your hand and start touching your spouse. Someone may give in, yes, but the heart and the emotions may not be there. You just do your things, you finish, you go sleep, but uh, no sweetness, no deliciousness, and no enjoyment. Learn to communicate. Don't get tired to communicate. We have been married for the last 22 years, and our communication is... I would say it's great. It sounds as if we just got married the other, the other, the other day or a few years ago. Are you getting tired in that relationship? Are you getting tired in that marriage? Hey, the Bible says in the book of Revelation that you have forsaken the first love. You have forsaken the, when when things are not working the way they're supposed to work in any marriage in any marriage it simply means you or one of you has forsaken the first love and in the book of revelation the bible says remember the height from which you have forsaken the first love and do the things you did at first that you have forsaken the first love. You have forsaken those sweet words you used to tell each other. You have forsaken those sweet kisses. You have forsaken those gifts, chocolates. As long as a human being is still alive and he has emotions and feelings, Doing some of these things does not matter, depend with the age. And don't just sit there and tell me that uh, what we've been married for the last uh, 30 or 40 years. These things, we leave them to the young people. No. That woman you have has feelings and has emotions. And that man you have also has feelings and emotions. Uh, and they, they, they have what you call love tongue that, that requires to be filled. Yeah? You have forsaken. If some things are not 
working the way that... Remember those days when you are dating? Where no one would stop you from seeing this sister, no one would stop you from seeing this brother? Whether it was raining or not, raining cats and dogs, if you meant to see this sister, to, you meant to, to, to see this brother, nothing would stop you. Remember those calls, those SMSs? Those greeting uh, cards, you remember? <laughs> yes, I, I, I know you remember. These are the same, same things that the Bible is telling us in the book of Revelation that you have forsaken the first love. Remember the height from which you have forsaken the first love and start doing the things you did at first and see if you are your marriage and your relationship will not revive. I am intentionally saying these things because I, as much as I and my wife are celebrating to, to our 22nd anniversary, I wish and hope and pray that your marriage also will have fire, will have warmth, will have sweetness and deliciousness. And with the authority given to me by the creator of the universe who enabled, enabled me to study and became a certified relationship counselor. It's my hope and prayer that each and every single marriage will do well, will blossom, will shine like the stars on the sky. Yeah, and if you are a young man or a young woman, you're not married yet. The moment you lack character, the moment you become loose, the moment you start giving out your fruits just anyhow like that, the moment you allow people to sample you, then you lose your dignity. You lose your respect. And even if that man will eventually marry you, he will live knowing that uh, this is not a woman of character. Or this woman will live knowing that this is not a man of character. Let there be respect. Devote yourselves to the author or rather the, to the one who invented the marriage, the one who said that it's not good for a man to be alone, the one who said that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and he obtains favor from the Lord. If you find the right woman in the right way, you'll obtain favor from the Lord himself and nothing will shake that marriage. If you find the right man in the right way, not through shortcuts, you'll obtain favor from the, the creator of the universe and nothing, nothing will shake that marriage. My young sister, my young brother, wait for the right time. My wife waited for the right time. I waited for the right time. And on the night of 18th, August 201, being the first night for me to touch my wife, that was full of respect. She respected me the way I did not take shortcuts of touching her before that night. She respected me and I respected her. And that's why we obtained favor from the Lord. And that's why up to this moment, I'm not saying that now we, we, we challenges are not there. But the, the local of my father, because we obtained his favor, he sees us through. He leads us. He guides us. He directs us. And that's why we are here. 
I want to close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Father, you are awesome. Father, you are wonderful. Father, you are all powerful. You are gracious. You are loving. You are kind. You are compassionate. You are caring. Father, I praise you for your miracles. I praise you for your wonders. I praise you for your blessings. Father, thank you. Thank you for taking care of us, I and my wife, in this marriage for the last 22 years. Father, thank you because you are holding our hands. Your presence is in our marriage. Your presence is in our parenting. And you are blessing us with many more fruitful faithful and productive years to come, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you for our sons. Thank you for Jonathan. Father, thank you for Chefta. And thank you for Chafet. Thank you for the gift of great lives. Thank you for the gift of great health. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our occupations. Thank you for the way you sustain us Thank you for your presence in our marriage, in our parenting. Thank you for the way you are leading, guiding, directing, and blessing our children's talents, learning, ambitions, dreams, and visions. Have mercy on us, Father, and help us to be rooted into your word because it's only your word that will guide us that will direct us that will lead us because your word is the lamp to our feet your word is the light to our paths your word will always correct us when we we, we, we are tempted to go astray your word will always teach us your word Father, will always rebuke us when we do foolish things, even in our marriage. My Lord, my Father, your word will train us in righteousness so that we may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I want to pray for that man or that woman who are hurting in their relationships, who are hurting in their marriages. And they may be thinking of separating. Or they may be thinking of divorcing. My local Almighty Savior, who invented the, the marriage institution, have mass on that family, have mass on that relationship, have mass on that marriage. Let there be a restoration in that marriage. Let there be a restoration in that relationship. More than anything else, let those couple. Let that couple, my local Almighty Father, learn to depend on you, to rely on you, to fix their eyes on you and you alone, the inventor of our marriage institution, so King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I want to pray for that young man who is longing, who is hungering, and who is thirsting to marry. I want to pray for that young sister who is hungering, who is thirsting, and who is longing to get a partner, my local Almighty Father, lead these young people, direct these young people, guide these young people, my local Almighty Savior. Allow them to, to, instead of just hungering and thirsting and longing to get a partner, let them, my local Almighty Father, as a number one priority, hunger, thirsty, and long to seek your kingdom and your righteousness. Because your word says, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 25, that seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you as well. My Lord God Almighty Father, it's your will that a man should not be alone. 
because 